YouTube, so welcome back to Lynette's Life. I am, of course, yours truly, Lynette, and this is my life. Welcome back, my beautiful gems. So welcome back. If you are new here, thank you for being a subscriber. Y'all, I got a couple of new subscribers. Hey, y'all, welcome to the gym fam. Um, if you are new here, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so you get whenever I post. Um, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you for always being a loyal gym. Thank you for always coming back and showing your girl some love and support. Now we're finna jump into this video. Y'all see y'all boy in the back? He got school. Well, the kids are back at school now, so. Yeah, we just headed to school this morning. Now, this video is going to be a new video. I'm in the midst of editing y'all a video mm, that I should have put up like yesterday. But I didn't edit it when I got home Saturday. So, therefore, um, we're a couple of days in. But um, I do have y'all a video. It may not be all that interesting, but... It is to me, so I'm gonna post it. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, excuse me, I don't know where it came from. Uh, oh, excuse me. But, um, yeah, uh, a couple of things today. I gotta run a few errands. I gotta, um, go to Walmart and pick up Sheldon's medicine. I have to, um, set up a couple of doctor's appointments look into some things so i can make y'all experience a little more you know you'll see what i got what i'm working on and then i also have to drop off my money order for my rent um because y'all i didn't realize i forgot that you know, some businesses are still on, like, you know, they don't change their schedules and stuff like that, their hours and stuff. So, me not realizing that it was Sunday, didn't think to check the times and stuff because I was going to go pick up his medicine yesterday because they finally sent me an alert for his meds yesterday. And um, by the time I made it there, it was like after 2 o'clock, and guess what? It was closed at 2 o'clock, but it was not a blank trip. I almost got mad. Like, I called my mom. I was like, girl. And my missus uh, was like, what time? Why? Why close? So I'm sort of bitch like, do they be open on Sundays? Like, I got a message from them. And she, you know, while we on the phone, even though I could have did that myself instead of calling her, but y'all, I'd be looking for any reason to call my mom. I don't know about y'all. For those of you who mothers are still present in this universe um yeah so but um she was like she went and looked it up for me while we was out of finance she was like girl they closed at two o'clock looking at the time like oh my god it's two it's not even two thirty yet like i'm late by 30 minutes <clears throat> but um <clears throat> to be fair though i had fell asleep but yeah so they were closed but like I was saying it was not a blank trip because I still needed to get my money order in which I got it so now when I go in there today all I gotta do is stop at the pharmacy and gotta make no other stops I was gonna look around for me something to, uh, where I could curl my dreads but I think I'm gonna wait on that um I do need to stop by the ATM and try to pull out as much of what I need because, oh, this traffic is bad. I hope I make it there on time. I ain't got to get out. Uh, but yeah, um, I hope I'm able to pull out as much as I need because I have obligations and things that I need to take care of with my mom. Rather, rather I have to um, 
give to my mom my portion of certain bills and things like that. Um, because, y'all, I'm an adult, but I'm still not an adult. I don't know. It's like, I'd rather... And, <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to let y'all in on just how childish I am. At 33, finna be 34 years old. I'd rather pull the money out of the ATM, give it to my mother to pay these things, than to just get these things on my own and pay it. I don't know. It's some, I, I don't know. I guess because in my head, even though it's for her to pay for something, <clears throat> in my head, it's almost like I'm helping out by giving my portion. You know what I'm saying? But if it was coming out, <laughs> like if I was paying it, like I'd be like, ooh, all these bills, like I got enough bills, you know? I don't know what it is, the logic in my head, but I can't explain it, but I don't know. I feel better giving it to her than Then having to go and pay it. Also, one thing about my mama, she gonna pay what's important. You know what I'm saying? So, me, I'm gonna weigh my options and be like, mm, do I really need to pay that this month? Even though it's a monthly thing, do I really need to pay that this month? I'm gonna do it this month. You know, uh, forever be behind. And that ain't good, but I'm working on me. I'm working on that, so don't judge. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the logic, but I'd rather give it to my mama. Um, and it's for things like um, my portion of the cell phone bill, which I already told y'all that. Plus, now that I don't got to upgrade, it's that portion of um, of the bill and my like I said, I don't know if it's life or burial insurance. So, yeah. It's all of that good stuff. Like I said, at least one of them is important. Well, both of them are important because if my mom ain't got no way to reach me, she, uh, she gonna find a way. But it's easier for us that way. So yeah, that definitely has to get done. And then like I say, um, I have an, I have a dentist appointment this month, so I have to make sure that I have some money for that, which like I said, I kind of budgeted $300 for that. Lord knows I didn't want to budget that for that. And I'm praying that when I do go to the dentist, it's not no $300. I'm just budgeting and basing off of prior visits. All right, boy. See you later. Have a good day. Love you. Yeah, he be. <laughs> he be doing me. But he, uh. <laughs> yeah, he ain't want to get up this morning. I'm going to just tell the truth, shame the devil. He didn't want to get up this morning, and we was up late last night, which kind of my fault because I should have did better time management. I was lazy all day. I was supposed to actually get up that morning and do it, but I didn't. Um, well, technically, we ended up having some visitors yesterday morning. Um, two of my homegirls, which are cousins, um one of them kids and the other one's nephew were at the park in front of my house which my homegirl stays down the sidewalk from down the sidewalk around the corner <laughs> literally if she steps out her, her front door or her back door no if she steps out her back door she got a clean shot to where she could see my car my, my apartment literally like, but we're close but we're not suffocating close like she in her section, I'm in my section, but um, they were at the park anyway, and I guess uh, the other one, her, her cousin's kids, two kids, at least the oldest boy, remember where my apartment was, and 
I guess he decided he wanted to come pay us a visit. I like to think they thought about me and wanted to come see me. Now, the little girl, Stormy, she might have. Like, she wanted to come see me. I don't know. Because she liked to get her nails painted, y'all. She let diva. But my nephew, he was most definitely there for my son. He most definitely there, was there for his cousin, his bro, as he liked to call. But, um, yeah. So, had those little visitors. And quite naturally, y'all know, when it comes to kids, they, they convince children to go outside and play. But, you know, kids outside, they like to be in and out. And so, I kind of was on alert watching them. Because, y'all, I don't know. It's not just with my child. But, like, once they made their presence known to me out there, it was kind of like I was on high alert, like, um, have a guard up low-key because I'm like, people be messing with people cheering for no reason. And I don't have time for that. And I'm like, I want to make sure nothing happens on my watch, even though, you know, the parent, they didn't know that, I knew that the kids were out there, but I'm quite sure they knew that they were out there. But it's like, I don't want nothing happening to any of my babies. So I'd be like, so yeah, but they, they enjoyed, they had a good little time. Um, and then my homegirl came to get them because she was looking for them, but they went outside. <laughs> Nobody was in the house and she was like, she, she didn't get too panicked because she was like, oh, they not as important than they think they did. You know? <laughs> so, Clay they had the door open and she know my door don't be open. And she just cut budging in like she was home. Because that's what they do. That's how they do me out. I'm just playing. That's how we all do. If a door open, we walk in. But, um, yeah, so... <sighs> they came by and they were there for a good little minute and then after they left I was the new city I don't even remember falling asleep but I most definitely fell asleep for a couple of hours and then when I woke up like I said I had the message from Walmart and I got dressed and um ran over there real quick but like i said by the time i got there they were closed so now i'm on my way back over there because they open at 8 it's 7 40. get this medicine because he most certainly needs it he took his last um clonidine last night and which saturday he didn't take it and which you know he did that on his own normally i have to break stuff down for my child like um, for instance, he'll be like, I tell him, you know, don't take that med this time, take this one, you know, and he'll be like, what? And then I explain it, he'll be like, boo, what? And I'll be like, I ain't got time for it, just do as I say. <laughs> but, um, he did it on his own. I guess he realized he was running low and he saved that one for last night because he knew he had to go to school this morning. So that was very smart and I appreciated that because Saturday I made him take two melatonins plus his other regular night med and I don't know if it was he was pumped or hyped from the circus or what but that boy did not go to sleep which is why I was surprised yesterday he got up when he did and I'm surprised he opened his, door, his bedroom door for the kids and went out with the kids because he was not having it that morning. Like, he was sleeping in. But nonetheless, it worked out. So he had one for this morning. So I'm like, yeah, I most definitely have to uh, pick it up today. And then I do plan on having a yard. I want to get a yard so that we can get Max back. Um... Cause right now he's just out in the country. He's not getting any playtime. He, you know, 
I just feel like he's lonely out there. You know? I feel like he's not getting the love that he deserves. Or that I feel like he deserves. That's just me, though. Majority of this might be cut out, y'all. So it might be a little choppy because I'm just talking. Wasting time. But um, I'm already at 23, 24 minutes. And this is definitely not what I wanted the video to be. Because when I get home, I think I'm going to record um, me cleaning the kitchen. I was supposed to wash the dishes. I had ran the water and then I, the water got cold. I let it out. And I'm like, okay. That's when I thought about I needed to do Sheldon hair before he went back to school because I promised my mama I was going to do his redo his hair before he went back to school so that's another reason why he was up late last night um in which I'm so surprised that y'all y'all know I am I be one track and then I be on the lid he was like by the time I started getting towards the end of his hair he I was like you know I looked at the time I was like oh my god it's 10 30 like it's well past your bedtime and I was like, um, when I get done with your hair, you're going to have to go straight to bed. He was like, I want, I'm going to bed because I'm tired. I'm sleepy and I wish you'd be done. And I'm like, I'm almost there. So I started rushing through. But um, back to what I was saying, um, I didn't wash the dishes yesterday like I was supposed to. So I'm going to most definitely have to do that. today this morning because i'm kind of in the habit of now where i want to maintain the hard work i've put into getting my house to somewhat a decent standard um in my book and then i still have to uh i went through some more clothes so we got the floor in the room clear uh but now i have to finish clearing off my bed uh, and then i have to go through Sheldon's clothes, get rid of the old clothes as well, and make it presentable enough so I can see what he has, what he doesn't have, so I can get what he needs as far as clothes-wise, because it's about to be so hot. I feel it in my spirit. Because the other day, yesterday, oh my God, when I went out, yesterday, it was and it was like 78 degrees and it was boiling to me but yeah I still got 8 minutes y'all before they open but um oh and also I know I've been telling y'all I need to do a trial haul I am going to do the trial haul matter of fact it's probably going to be a two part trial haul well you know what I might wait y'all I'm going to wait I know, I know, girl. You're supposed to do that a month ago. Um, the thing about it is, y'all, I had gained a little weight and I had got a little bloated from the fluid and stuff and from all the eating I was doing. So, like, some of the tops, I tried on one, and if they all the same size, made out of the same material, same damn shape, just different colors, none of them were going to fit properly. Like, they fit, but it's like... I'm not there yet with the crop tops. Like, it's super crop. Like, I'm talking if I was to... <gasps> it is going to be out. You know what I'm saying? We can't have that. And I don't do tape. So, yeah. I most definitely need to make sure I can fit those. But the reason why I say I'm going to wait because I... I did a thing. I realized yesterday how hot it might possibly be about to get. Now I had on shorts that I already have, but they're size 20. And when I put them on, the waist of the pants is hitting me nowhere. That makes sense. If it was not for my thighs and my bottom. one step and they would have been falling off me literally um because like i say in the waist the, the waist ain't holding on it so i ordered me some more shorts 
and a couple of pair of pants for me and Sheldon. And um, I got them in a size 18, so I'm hoping that they fit. They're a style of shorts that I never wore because I was bigger and I'm like, you know, these thighs, y'all, when I start walking, they keep going. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? My big girl, big girl, don't understand what I'm saying. So I I was kind of insecure about that, but this summer, I plan on being naked, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Mama, if you're watching... Be prepared. I, I plan on being naked this summer, y'all. I plan on being free. I am... I've always had the policy, especially when I'm at home. The fewer clothes I have on, the more comfortable I am. Now, I'm not trying to be indecent, indecently exposed and exposing to the world. You know what I'm saying? I am still mindful of that, but I am going to be skin out okay all of it i feel like this melanin needs some sun rays to it i've been in the house too much and i'm trying to kiss somebody daddy uncle grandpa cousin eels even if it's for a sneaky link or down or low And I mean down low like he got somebody. Um, no, like I'm talking. Let's keep this between you and me. When I call you, just show up. You know what I'm saying? Type thing. <laughs> because first of all, my child does not want me in a relationship. Second of all, I don't really think I want a relationship. Like, I'm content, you guys. Why, I don't know, but I'm very much content. Oh, yeah, and I got on my pajama shirt. <laughs> Let's just acknowledge that 30 minutes into the video. Very much pajama shirt and some joggers on. The shirt is black. The joggers are blue, navy blue. Like, what was I thinking? I don't know. I just threw on clothes because I real life... Didn't know what the weather was going to be looking like this morning. And, well, you know, like the temp. And I'm just like, I need to run a Walmart real quick. Does it really matter how I'm looking at this point? I ain't trying to catch nobody out this morning. But see, the thing about, y'all, I might just make this its own video. <laughs> the thing about that is, on the days where I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to throw something on. I ain't trying to look for nobody. Them be the days where people be all up in my goddamn face be wanting to flirt. And I be like, oh, I look so crusty today. But then when I'm cute and dressed up and like serving with a purpose, don't nobody want to be hollering at me. Don't nobody be looking at me. Ladies, tell me if you've had that. At least I was short. But let me know if y'all done ever dealt with something like that. Where you done dicked yourself out to the nines and don't nobody holler at you. But then when you crust, you in your sweatpants, hair ain't caught with your hair like pulled back in a ponytail and your least what you deem as your comfortable hairstyle. No makeup for the makeup wears, you know what I'm saying? Like, on them days where you, like, barely wanted to put on deodorant, <laughs> barely wanted to brush your teeth, but you did it because you knew you was going out, like, those type of days. <laughs> oh, guys, that's when they want to be up in your face. Okay, Miss Ma'am. Oh, lady got on her two-piece jogger suit, the loose fit. Pulling up her pants, trying to hack it up so you can see that booty booty print. Okay. Can't tell her she ain't cute, which she is. Y'all know, I just love seeing older women just... I don't know. Not just old. You know, you had those ones that you look and you be like, oh, sis just... She just gave in the life. 
And then you had the ones that be just, mm, mm, mm. I still got it, babe. Like, that's who I'm trying. I'm trying to be like that. I'm trying to be like that because that's how my grandmother was, God rest her soul. That Vera, that Vera. She 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 didn't think she was old, y'all. I'm telling y'all. For years, I tried to convince my grandmother to stop dyeing her hair. And finally, towards the end, she stopped dyeing it. I never forget. She bought, she used to wear little pony buns and stuff, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm my grandma was it, baby. Chocolate and was it, honey. Cool, whatever she wanted. But like I never forget, I used to, I used to be like, Nana, just let your hair go gray. Like, stop dying, y'all. Your hair gonna fall out. You keep doing it. And I never forget, she bought a gray little pony bun, had a little gray in it, y'all. A little salt and pepper, sprinkle, sprinkle. And she was like, when I saw her, she was like, "You finally have." I was like, "Yes, Miss Ma'am." But that was my grandpa, y'all. Yeah, that thing now. I used to always say, when I was young, I used to say, I want to be fine like my nanny and my aunties. I meant it. Because even my Aunt Frida, like, she still be dicked out to the nines, baby. You not going to catch her not put together, honey. She put together even when she get home. And it's so crazy because I'm more like her than, oh, Jesus. Like, I'm saying, like, as far as, like, she was a tomboy. Like, she'd be out there thugging it. But she still dressed. But it was like, you know, it wasn't as girly. But, like, just watching her fashion evolve and stuff, it's like, dang. But yeah, even my mom has started to embrace her dressing. Like I just, I just love watching her evolve, you know. Because for many years of my life, my mama was, she was that church girl that wore dresses everywhere, y'all. I'm telling you, no lie. Did you know that? Did you know that? I used to really go to church and love this shit. But anyway. <laughs> But, you know, then she slowly started to, you know, like, for work and stuff, she would wear her pants, suits, you know, like, her little pants, outfits, um, dressy attire. But just over the years, watching her fashion, you know, her experiment and dabble in different little things, um, you know, I love it. I love to see it. Even my pops. Yeah, I got both my parents. Well, I started with my dad. Uh, when he was in the hospital with his accident, work accident, my mama delegated for me to come to Walmart to buy him something to come home in. And I took that as my, you know, my opportunity to put a little me in there, you know. What I would like to see my daddy wear. <laughs> First of all, back in the day, my daddy used to always wear sweatpants, jogging pants, y'all. Especially, like, around the house, just to be comfortable. He would wear his jogger, his joggers. That's where I get that from. That's why I like wearing joggers, because I get that from my daddy, truth be told. And also, my mom used to buy us sweatsuits when we were kids. Um, although they never fit the way I wanted them to back then, I can now wear them like I like to wear them. But, um, you know. <laughs> but my dad got like I love that my dad used to wear his joggers because that was his comfort. When my daddy put on his joggers, y'all, I knew homeboy was comfortable. Let's just say that. <laughs> like homeboy was like, she we chilling in the house today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because my dad is the type, y'all, he's a working man. So his wardrobe consists of some type of work shirt, some type of shirt, you know t-shirt whatever but it consists his go-to clothing items to wear on a daily blue jeans and boots blue jeans and 
teenies, you know. I'm talking like old crusty teenies, old crusty, dusty, need to be retired boots. Like that's my father's attire. You know, because he's always working. So when he's not working, he's at home. He still in work clothes. Like, because he's outside doing things. Or he going hunting. He going fishing. He doing this. He doing that. So then when it would be time for, like, us to go out as a family or my mama and him to go out on, like, a little date, he looking like he going to work. And my mama dick that cute. And you looking like, what time I got to be there, boss? <laughs> Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, I took that opportunity, you guys, and I, I wanted to take him back to something that he, he's familiar with. Like, I don't, I didn't want to take him too far out of his comfort zone, but I wanted to remind him that it's okay to relax. You know, I wanted to remind him of the old days. So I bought him some joggers, something, cause he, like he, he had, his hand was injured. So like something he could easily slide on, slip on with just, with just one hand, you know what I'm saying? So I bought him some joggers and I was like, okay, for the shirt, we're not going to do no plain shirt. Mm -mm. I like to see my dad in graphic tees. So I went and I found some graphic tees that I, you know, that had characters on there. Cause my dad, I get that from my dad too. We'll sit up there and watch cartoons all day long. If you let us. Uh, he's still big. He's in his 50s and still <laughs> still love his cartoons as, as we do. But, um, so, like, he's a big Tom and Jerry. Y'all know Tom and Jerry old as hell. He's still a big Tom and Jerry fan. Like, he got my son, my, my nephew, like, baby, they probably could tell you every Tom and Jerry episode. <laughs> like, they all into it. And that's crazy because he was like that with me and my brother, like, we watched some of Jerry because of daddy. So, um, I tried to find him graphic tees that he could relate to, graphic tees that he loved. You know, that he I felt like he would like because of the characters on him. Just bring his playful side out into the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, my dad is the type of person, if y'all met him, like, he don't meet no strangers, y'all. Which is scary, but it's a it's a good thing, but it's a scary good thing, you know. Cause not it, we know not everybody has good intentions for people. Y'all been seeing a lot of people going in here with these um, car seats on their arms, like who child? Who can have a baby? Show Amy. But yeah, so I did that, and turns out he loved it. So, then I got my mom one of the shirts uh, that I got him for, I think Father's Day. Was it birthday or Father's Day? One of them, I had got a for him. And um, it was either that or Christmas. I don't remember. But anyway, basically, it was too small for him because my dad would be fluctuating with his weight. Now, in the summertime, he going to drop that weight like it ain't nothing. But one of the time, he be putting on that little bear barracuda he is but um he couldn't fit it so my mama started wearing it now she into the graphic tees y'all she was like me i was talking about that she was like girl it ain't she was like it's so I, i've i've learned that it's okay even when me and your dad go out to dinner it's okay for me to put on one of my graphic tees and, and, and a nice pair of pants okay and it's still like you can wear a graphic tee and still be look put together and dressy you know what i'm saying so, oh, I want his jacket. It's a hey, on a jacket, a Nickelodeon jacket. Oh my god, that was so with my arm out for him of general. But anyway, distracted. Sorry. But yeah, it's okay to dress. You know where that. So it's that's why I say it's like so weird. It's weird, but it's like interesting because I'm watching my mother evolve. And for her to be like, she likes the outfit too. I'm like, okay. They even um they had went on a little getaway trip, and they had matching graphic tees, y'all, with their little jeans and oh my god, with their tennis shoes. And that's another thing. My dad don't normally do tennis shoes. Like, I don't know, really, like we have to make him wear tennis shoes sometimes. But he didn't got to where now he wear. You know, mom and them bought him some. 
nice decent little plain tennis shoes that he actually wears them when they go out you know relax your feet bro stay out them boots you are not climbing them poles like <sighs> so you do not need the steel toes on today yo 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 steel toe stompers don't need them on so um you know he had on his little teeny she had on her little teeny shoes and i'm like i'm loving it i don't know how my brother feel about it but i'm loving like i they're like my little elderly dolls. I'm not going to say elderly because they, in my mind, my parents are not old. <laughs> um, but they like my little Ken and Barbie. They are. Stop me a dress up. <laughs> Finally getting to dress them like I want to dress them. I would love to do a video where I dress my parents. For y'all, be. My daddy will do it just because it's me. <laughs> just because it's me, he'll do it. Um, but my mama, I don't think she's there yet, y'all. She 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 didn't accept the job, but I don't think she's there yet. But um, it's well past eight o'clock. It is actually eight fifteen. Um. I have taken this parking spot long enough. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Share with your people so they can share with their people. People, come on, let's help this beautiful family of gems grow. Y'all, help me get to 200. At least 200 subscribers. At least 200. I'm going to make an ass shaking video and see if I go viral. <laughs> Child, I don't dance for the folks. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all zoned out. My bad. Anyway, in the meantime, in between time, y'all stay blessed, stay beautiful, my gems. I holla.